Hey, you Charlie? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who's asking? I'm Daisy, the caterer. You're Berta's sister? Same mom, dad's a little iffy. <laughs> Berta said if I wanted a shot of your bourbon, I had to come up and ask you first. Yeah, sure, knock yourself out. Thanks. <laughs> I don't usually drink before noon, but I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch. Well, that's why they make bourbon. <laughs> My husband left me for another woman. Know how I found out? To tell you the truth. Relax, it's rhetorical. <laughs> waved to me as they drove my house out of the trailer park. That's sad. Yeah, I had that double wide 11 years. Larry was with me for four. Of course, six months of those were house arrests. I can't really give him credit for that. You know, I haven't gotten up to pee yet. Let me tell you something. Larry was nothing when I met him. He was working at some kosher slaughterhouse out in Fontana before they fired him for being mean to the cattle. What? The Jewish laws dictate that the animals have to be treated kindly before they get whacked. Larry would taunt them. Hey, hamburger, guess what's gonna happen to you? <laughs> anyway, I picked him up off his sorry unemployed ass. I gave him hair plugs, contact lenses, teeth. <laughs> Bastard dumped me for this tiny little Korean manicurist who huffs nail polish from over between appointments. Well, you give a guy hair and teeth, he's bound to hook up with trash. <laughs> no, she was pretty hot. She had spray on tan, Botox up the yin yang. Couldn't tell if she was 20 or 60. <laughs> not what you think. We're just having a drink. Good idea. <laughs> you listen to me, Daisy Ray. Just because I got us this job doesn't mean I won't do all the cooking by myself. I'm coming down there. Don't start acting like you're doing me some big favor. Oh, excuse me for trying to help my broke homeless baby sister. I'm not homeless. I have a home. I just don't know where it's parked. <laughs> and I wouldn't be broke if you would have paid me my share of Mama's estate. What estate? It was a shoebox full of corn pads, used lottery tickets, and insulin. So first I'm hearing about the insulin. <laughs> Excuse me, but shouldn't we be, you know, cooking something for my mother's party? Hang on, Charlie. You know, I am sick of you insinuating that I stole all that crap Mama left me. She didn't leave it to you. You were just the first one back in the house after she flatlined. <laughs> oh, and where were you? At some ashram in Oregon? I was learning from my guru how to channel my spirit guide. Oh, please, you were humping a defrocked priest in the woods. <laughs> how about stuffed mushrooms? Everybody loves those. <laughs> You know, that's your problem your whole life, Daisy. You chase after these losers, you take care of them, you fix them up, and then they hop on the first manicurist out of town. You're just jealous, Berta, because I've had love in my life. Yeah? You know what you got in your life now? Squat. No husband, no one to do your nails, and eight cinder blocks where your house used to be. I swear to God, Berta, one more word out of you and I'm gonna knock you on your keister. Okay, okay, there's no reason. Squat! Oh, no. Oh, no.